Welcome to another episode of Mr. Brown at the Singapore GP. Today's episode, we'll look at some of the changes made to the road uh, along the track that will make the race more interesting. My guest today is Kevin, who will show me some of the road works done to the road along the track. And as you know, I'm very passionate about road works. Road works is my life. It's so exciting. Okay, here we are at uh, Raffles Boulevard. Kevin, you say there are changes done to this road for the race. Where? What? What? Um, we've actually resurfaced a good amount of Raffles Boulevard already. All the way to that end of the track is turn five. Stretches all the way down to that end at the junction of uh, Raffles Boulevard and Nickel Highway. And that's turn seven. Five and seven? Yes. Okay. So all the way from turn five to seven, we're resurfacing the roads. And you can see actually the road in this area is already black. So what have they done that's, that's different? I mean, I know, can, okay, it's new, it looks new. What's the difference? And this is a normal road. So what happens with normal roads is um, the road shape is somewhat like this. So the center of the road is at the highest point, And when it rains, water flows down to the sides of the road, to the drains along the side. What we did was we added asphalt to the left and right to make it more even. And in that sense, we're reducing the bumps that the F1 cars feel because when they drive along this road, they're not actually driving the same path as normal cars do. So after the race is over, do the roads go back to normal? The roads will remain as they are, and if, if the road condition remains the way it is this year and there's no changes, we won't need to resurface it again. But there are numbers on the road. What, what do they represent? Okay, uh, these numbers were actually uh, painted onto the asphalt by the surveyor, and they indicate the, num the amount of asphalt that needs to be topped up. So remember I told you how we need to do this to the roads. So if you see the center of the roads where it's at the highest peak, you have a negative number, whereas towards the edge, to the drains, you have a very large positive number. It's to create that effect whereby you're leveling the roads and recambering it. Singapore drivers are very law abiding, or no? All keep okay, within speed limit, especially when they see Ryan's camera. I'm standing here in front of the pit building where we're going to check out some of the improvements made to the pit lane and, and all that uh, to improve the race and uh, because I'm such a you know, dedicated host uh, even though it's dangerous, I'm doing it for you. Yeah. So I noticed this is new, uh, it's black, so you did something to this, right? This is the pit lane. That's right. This what is the pit lane. Um, it's different from the resurfacing we talked about at Raffles Boulevard. Yep. It's for a different purpose. This is actually the fast lane. The pit lane comprises of the fast lane, and this grey colour concrete area is the slow lane. That means uh, F1 cars come on the fast lane, then they turn left and get okay. into their pits. Oh. That's right. And the problem with this was the asphalt settled. There was some settlement. Oh. So the concrete and the asphalt were of a different level. There was a slight difference. So the fear was that if the F1 cars came here and they turned into the pits, the problem was that their, their nose cone in front would actually clip the concrete. So we had to top it up basically. So it's now more, it's not even again? Yes, now it's even. You can see it's uh, perfectly level. Bus. We're standing uh, near turn 23, 24. Uh, what's new here? All right, uh, what we've done here is we've actually created a pit entry extension. And you can see this individual lane created here. Oh, behind the orange cone. This individual lane was created so that those that are entering the pit lane would just go in through here, whereas those lapping would remain on the main track. So last year when uh, the cars needed to go into the pit lane, they didn't have their own special lane to go in. That's right, there was no special lane. So when they were slowing down to enter the pit lane, there was some interference with those lapping the track. Interference means uh, the fast driving one to don't want to go pit to get complained. Hey, don't block me, hey! Slowing down, uh, going to pit. Uh. So yeah, now yeah. they have this problem. Uh. No, nope. this should address the concerns. That's right. This is the pit exit extension, similar to the pit entry. So the pit exit actually stretches all the way from there. It goes down here and you exit at turn two. This is where the um, F1 cars that are lapping the track are actually accelerating. So the, the merging of the two types of vehicles, those coming out from the pit lane and those lapping the track is quite smooth. Whereas last year, those entering the pit lane would go onto the braking zone at turn one. 
uh, resulting in some interference between the two types of vehicles. Wow, you store everything. Uh. Wow, we take care of the drivers. Uh. Yes, we do. As you can see, it takes uh, quite a bit of work to get the track ready for the race. Uh, roadworks, you know, corners have to be taken care of, new lanes have to be created, roads have to be leveled. It's all for the sake of the race. See you at the next episode of Mr. Brown at the Grand Prix.